Hi friends, Coach Jen here. Welcome to day two. Congrats on making it to day two. It's easier from here. The fasting part is over. Um, did you watch the video from day one? Had, did you do your gratitude practice this morning? What are you grateful for today? If you haven't done that, make sure you do that first. Watch that before you watch this one. Today, I want to talk about quite possibly the most important thing that we need to be successful long-term on our health and weight loss journeys. And that is self-love. How we talk to ourselves, how we feel about ourselves, giving ourselves grace, allowing ourselves to make mistakes. I want you to think about this. Think about a person that you know that you really don't like. Maybe this person hurts you or they just have a bad energy and you don't like even being around them. Can you think of that person? You have that person in your mind? Now, I want you to think about when is the last time you went out of your way to do something nice for that person? When did you inconvenience yourself or, you know, do something for them that made it harder for you? Like, why would you go out of your way for somebody that you just don't like? I'm going to take a guess that's never or not very often. Then I want to ask you why you think it's okay for you to talk to yourself the way that you do and still expect to do nice things for yourself, like going to the gym or cooking nourishing meals, prioritizing the time it takes to do those things. Our internal dialogue, the things that we say to ourselves in our head are quite possibly the most damaging thing that we do because it's constant. It's every time we pass a mirror or we do something wrong, we say to ourselves, we say things that we wouldn't say to our worst enemy. And it's automatic. Like I would bet you don't even realize the things that you think about yourself on a daily basis. I've worked with enough clients to know now, this is everybody's internal dialogue. We are, we are not special. When I first started learning about how other people talk to themselves, I was like, oh wow, I'm not the only one who says these really mean things that I'm even embarrassed to admit that I say to myself. But we do. We say things like, I'm so stupid. I'm fat. Why can't I, whatever. I hate this body part, whatever. Um, why can't I be like so-and-so? Why can't I do this? Like we say these things day in, day out, and multiple times a day. I want you to know these words activate the stress response in your body. They produce the same chemicals in your system as getting into a car accident or almost getting into a car accident or hearing about something tragic that happened to a loved one for, that you have. The reason this is important to know is that these chemicals, this stress response, it prevents you from losing weight. It's a block, it's a stop. It encourages weight gain, cortisol, especially around the midsection. Have you ever heard of stress belly? There's a reason for that. You don't burn your body fat. You just start to store everything. And then your body forgets how to even use its stored body fat. So it just gives you cravings. So you want to binge because it wants more uh, nutrients, more calories. Even though you've got plenty, it just forgot how to be able to use those because of these stress chemicals, because of this stress response. This is why stress management is so important on any journey. And honestly, why this five-day program is so great because it takes so much stress off of your digestive system and it nourishes your body internally. So we also want to pair that with taking mental stress away from us to really give us the best chance at long-term success. So if you're having these negative thoughts, these stressful thoughts about yourself all day long, then it's keeping your stress hormones elevated all day long. And good luck changing your body when that's happening. You know, we put all of our self-worth into how we look. And then we beat ourselves up when we don't look a certain way, which makes us feel a certain way. Not usually good. I want you to know, you are not your weight. 
You are not your body fat percentage. You are not how much muscle you have. You are not a perky butt. You are not toned arms or a flabby stomach or a six pack. That is not who you are. You are the person on the inside. And that's what people respond to. It's that person on the inside, not how you look on the outside. But if you let how you look on the outside affect how you feel and how you present yourself, then yes, people are going to respond to that. I've met the most beautiful souls who have a little bit more body fat on them. And I've also met some real ugly skinny people. And I'm sure you have too. It has nothing to do with their weight or their size. It's who they are as a person. But again, if you let your weight or your size determine how you feel about yourself or, or your self-worth, then that shows up in how you show up in the world and people will respond to that. So I want you to give yourself grace. I want you to let go of mistakes that you've made and I want you to let go of letting how you look define who you are. I want you to be the person today that you want to be that you think losing weight will make you be that person now and watch how easy it is for the external, for the body to actually get there because you're letting go of that stress. So your homework, I want you to really start to bring awareness to these internal thoughts because a lot of times we don't even realize what we're saying to ourselves a hundred times a day or more. So start being aware. What comments do you make about do you joke about your weight? Do you, every time you look in the mirror, do you think, oh, look at my bags, look at my this, look at my that, I hate this part of my body? Or do you look at yourself and see the beautiful soul that you are on the inside? You see the person that is making change, that's realizing that where they are isn't serving them and they want to be somewhere else. Do you see that person? So I want to help shift this mindset. Now, step one is awareness. Step one is being aware of even what we're saying. And step two, I want you to add to your gratitude practice. So now instead of just thinking about one thing we're grateful for, I want you to add one thing you love about yourself. That can be a body part that you like the way it looks. It can be your hair. It can be your eyes. It can be something about your personality. It can be the fact that you stop traffic to help a caterpillar cross the street. I had a friend that did that. It was super cute. She literally like stopped traffic and like let this caterpillar cross. It was cute. But every day I want you to think about one thing that you like about yourself, that you love about yourself. And this can be really uncomfortable and hard and challenging in the beginning, especially if you're in a place where you don't want to find something that you like about yourself. And I say that because I was there. Uh, for a very long time, I was miserable. When I told you before, I was focused on everything that was going wrong in my life. I also hated myself. I carried so much shame and guilt for things that I had done in the past. I wasn't letting them go. And I was letting that affect who I was showing up as today in the present. And when I let that stuff finally go, and I started to really appreciate myself for wanting to make change, for doing the hard things, for doing the work, then it got really easy to prioritize making habit changes, working out harder, um, stopping the two bottle of wine, of wine every weekend habit that I had, the eating a pint of ice cream with a jar of peanut butter. Like I didn't need those things anymore. So I changed my thoughts, the things that I was thinking and saying to myself, which changed how I felt, which changed my actions and got me different results. Remember that from uh, from day one? So I want you to do that. Let me know how this stuff is going for you guys. Either comment below here or send me a DM or um, just post a separate comment in the group. I really want to know how this stuff is affecting you um, because consistently, if you do this consistently, it can have a really profound change on how you feel, which then again affects how you show up in the actions that you're taking. So if you want more from me, if you want to keep in touch, send me a DM. I'll add you to my weekly newsletter where I send my best tips and mindset tricks to keep you inspired on your journey. Much love, guys.